And this is something you don't see every game. This became something that is scouted for so often that Terran players couldn't really do it. Special is going for that proxy. It's going to be a Hellion drop here. And if time does not figure out what is coming his way, he's going to be in a world of trouble. Battle Cruiser 1 is on the way. This is a very unusual build. It's not often you see a fusion core just, just YOLO'd in the middle of the map. And time, I'm, I'm a little bit scared for how much this may do to him. Oh, he's getting a 30 yeah, CC. That's so bad. This is not good news for time. Special has a real opportunity here to move in. Yeah, and people might be like, why proxy a battle cruiser? It can just teleport. The benefit of this is it can teleport out. It can stay alive. It has an escape. You can see right now the Viking is going to go down quite quickly. And Marines really don't do too much damage here. They're trying desperately. And we do see the blink out maybe a little bit too early there. I think Special jumped the gun a bit. Uh, the interference matrices, that's why. That's cute. He actually... It added the interference matrix had to travel the entirety of the map and now the battle cruiser gets repaired and it will just head back across the map and a second one will be coming in shortly as well we do see double viking production the benefit of time uh getting that reactor on the starport is is so big he wanted to swap it to the barracks but now he keeps it on the starport and is able to double produce vikings and that's going to help him a lot he has got a lot of tanks out which is kind of a little frustrating because really there's no there's not much bio pressure coming out here from special Time is going to feel content to take his third CC on locate or fly his third CC to location. It's going to be scouted here by uh, Special, which is nice. Uh, he now knows sort of what position he is in in the game. Special has is, is got a great work account and of course his tech isn't bad. Uh, he's getting a lot of scouting uh, depots and things. And uh, a, an interesting game to see how this plays out. There's a lot of battle cruisers coming. Pretty overwhelming soon. Battle cruisers are, are not bad defensive units as well. Look how many marines there are here. There's like 12. There's not. Uh, sorry, there's 22 in total, but they're not all here. And these battle cruisers, alongside tanks, are going to be able to hit those um, the, those big magic cannons onto the tanks. Actually, it is a little scary as all the specials tanks weren't in position. Um, and the Vikings are providing a lot of cover. I think Special's being a little bit too safe with his battle cruisers right now. They're at like full health. Go and kill him. Like, uh, there are a lot of Vikings actually. How many Vikings are we looking at? Eight? It's the okay. Viking count. Yeah, yeah eight I Vikings in with this. That's going to be enough to maybe two or three volley down of a, a battle cruiser. And Special took that fight pretty badly. As you said, the tanks mm -hmm. out of position. The Marines still way ahead. And those Vikings spotting, of course, very nicely done. He is going to be able to model one of the tanks up on the high side. But that's a bit of a Pyrrhic victory for Special right now, who's now lost 13 SCVs. Yeah, he's trying to harass right. back home, which will be nice. And he will be able to get a little bit more damage done with this. But Vikings flying out. Vikings will come back from time as well. And Special's going to be forced to get that battle cruiser up, up, and away. Yeah, the, the Juanito Battle Cruisers are doing a pretty good job of, in terms of workers lost right now. Uh, time has lost 18 to Special's 13, so Special's found more harassment. He is continuing just non-stop Battle Cruiser production too. He is only on one starport for now. He has not added on a second or a third just yet, so uh, it, it's not it's not quite as uh, mass Battle Cruiser as it could be. But uh, we, we're actually seeing a fully committed mech transition here from, or, or, or mech-based build here from special which is the first time we've seen mech and tvt uh or, or even mech at all on the b stream here so this is cool these battle cruisers they're going to be able to just yamato this missile turret and take it down and now all of these workers are so vulnerable two marines in a bunker battle cruisers do not care as the vikings come they'll just blink away that's another seven workers killed and it's continuing to grow uh this is this is starting to get a little scary for time he's down 30 uh, 20 sorry supply but it's uh, a lot of workers dead you know, Grant, I don't think that I've ever said this before in my life, but Special is abusing the immobility of Vikings, which yes. I don't think is a phrase that's ever crossed my mind, but he's doing a really nice job of, of, of sort of doing these one-two punches and timing his multi-pronged harass really, really well, right? Yeah. A couple battle cruisers in the natural, wait for the Vikings to respond, pull them away, and then show your battle cruiser at the third. The problem for Special right now is, yes, he's going for this mech transition, which I love, and by God, I hope it works so we can talk about it on the forums afterwards, because this will be mm -hmm. cool as hell. The problem is, Corvid Reactor already on the way from time. He's yeah. already at two starports, going to start adding on some more. And those Ravens with anti, or three starports rather, and those Ravens with anti armor missiles are going to do a really nice job of softening up those battle cruisers and really preventing Special from getting a lot done in a longer, more serious engagement. The picking and poking is fun, but a long engagement is going to be tough to win until the battle cruiser number is terrifyingly high.
which we don't see so many of. Uh, obviously, very good against Mech here. Battlecruiser is still finding damage. Special has been great at finding damage with his Battlecruisers, and that is a lot of them. They're going to be able to Yamato down this turret. It will just vanish. You can't go for a mass repair there. And now this uh, command center is just going to be completely peppered by these Battlecruisers. And it looks like they, it may well go down. Interference Matrix is going to be so big here to save the day. All of these Battlecruisers right now that cannot blink away, cannot fire, and now they start to fall. Uh, that is a great, great fight. A great save in the end by time. Ooh, yeah, but behind all of this, we can see, of course, yeah. that Special is queued up over the third base of, of time as well. So Special's done a really nice job of splitting Time's army up as he's been doing all game, right? Look at the number of Vikings that weren't engaged for those Battlecruisers. Grant, three of them got Interference Matrix. And yeah. you know how many of them died? Three? Maybe. Just two. Yeah. One of them got away. It's a lot like when you land a, uh, when you yoink somebody uh, as you yeah. play in Zerg with a, with a, and then you're not able to kill it after the uh, the Viper harpoons it. It feels really bad because you don't quite have enough oomph in your army to actually make a difference. And that was what we saw in that top engagement. Now, luckily, Time was able to save that planetary fortress. So he's only down one base right now, mm -hmm. um, and it'll be zero here very soon. But if if uh, Special does decide to come back again and Time's army's not in position again, going to be a very dangerous place for him to be. Look at Special's upgrades to his five. Finally going into this full committed mech style. Infernal pre-igniter, drilling claws for the widow mines, smart yeah. servos for the for the um uh for the tanks and everything. It's gonna yeah. be just insane. Yeah, the the army is very, very sorry, strong. Sorry, tank the smart, the yeah, smart servo seconds. doesn't affect tanks, does it? So, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You can see now that those cyclones have their headlights turned on, they're gonna be able to lock on and do a lot of damage. Blue flame hellions absolutely destroy mineral lines too. The scariest thing right now is the tank count. There are nine tanks here. How do you engage into that without this air army? Holy which shit. is so far out of position right now. Like, it is on Mars and the battle is here in, you know, the UK. Uh, it's, it's very, Yeah, Grant, very but they scary. killed all the battle cruisers. Oh, they we were, did? We were watching this fight at the third base. They killed all the battle cruisers on the north side. The battle wow. cruisers were completely gone. That's why the Vikings were up there. But Special has enough on the ground right now. It might not matter. Landed Vikings, though, oh, going to tear through these tanks. tanks. Tons of interference matrices, Grant. Supply right now is, is still favoring special quite heavily, uh, and even his army supply is somehow up. Uh, time doesn't have any workers at this point, really. 49 is is way, way, way too low. He's trying to produce them, but only one at a time because he's broke. Uh, upgrades are favoring time, finally. I don't know what that was actually, it just died. Um, uh, time is able to stabilize a little bit, but he really needs SCVs right now because special is now producing fours. Widow Mines, Cyclones, and Hellbats. It is like the ultimate mech army at this point. Fours are going to absolutely rule in this matchup with good upgrades against those Vikings, which have only, uh, they have no armor upgrades here for time. They're going to die so quick, and it's going to be up to um, time to, to slow this down because if you can get a good tank number out again, the special goes up to nine tanks again, what will time have? Yeah, nothing. Bit of a missed opportunity there for time, Grant. Um, after that fight that, that where he d destroyed most of Special's tanks, in fact, almost all of Special's tanks, Special Down, just the one, well, I'm sorry, Special Down is just six tanks now, where he had probably 10 or 15 before. Uh, Special lost all of his tanks, and while the army supplies looked even, the army values were actually twice in favor of time as compared wow. to Special. Special had like uh, 1,100 minerals or something, and time had 3,600 minerals of an army. So he did have a very scary potential army push there, and I was a little surprised to see him not pressing that advantage because Special couldn't do much about it if he wanted to but now as you said the thors are out the widow mines are here which are going to be a huge game changer if they get some good shots off softening up almost everything in the army and uh, time has got to hope that his three up is i was going to say three three his three two upgrades for his army for his infantry are enough to really right. negate this big heavy metal army from special i have no idea how time is meant to hold this the fours in the front absolutely destroying everything in the air finally the vikings land forcing the force to fire on the ground actually the mass marauder composition coming pretty clutch there time is holding on quite well and at the other side of the map he has found a lot of damage this is what he really needed he can kill these fours as well that's such a big pickup for so few units here and uh time is is got closer to weaving up the workers killing 19 of specials but he is still down in workers down in army supply he's down 40 supply total it was a very, very good fight, but he needed a great fight. He needed a phenomenal fight, and I'm still scared for time going forward. Freaking seal time six over there, killing yeah. as many Thors as they possibly could with about four of them there. That one Thor escaping with like one literal hit point. It was it was insane. Yeah. Uh, time's going to move out, and he's going to finally find, <laughs> after 17 minutes, Grant, the proxy battlecruiser station and the fusion core as well, which is going to shut down Special's battlecruiser production. 
For good, thank goodness. It's about time that this game got a little more serious. Come on, Special. We can't have any fun here. This is professional StarCraft. Time's army is, is, is actually very intimidating. Although he doesn't have plus three armor, the Marauders are naturally very tanky and they're able to take out all of this mech units. Marauders, you know, they love to fight armored units like these me uh, mechanical units that Special has. The, the fours are, are okay, but they do need tank support in order to keep the bio off of them. And the tanks have been kept down. We saw at one point Special well into the tens. He's now been kept below 10 for the last like three or four minutes and he wants to get these tanks out. You can see he's producing four at a time because he knows if he can get a mass tank alongside fours, alongside Widowmines, then he can storm forward and win. Time just is desperately trying to keep him back. Uh, I do think, and I hate to say it, this is an awful pun, that time is running out of time because the SCV count is so brutal. The income is so heavily special favored and Special is going to be able to get that big, big army because Time doesn't have... Oh, no, I'm going to do it again. He doesn't have time to produce SCVs. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be a really interesting fight here. Thors don't necessarily do super well against infantry, though, do they, Grant? Mm, no, not really. Yeah, I think this is a really unusual composition with as many Marauders as Time has right now. 17 of them in there. Those Thors are going to go down real, real fast if he chooses to focus fire. Instead, Time's going to go on a little strafing run down this... Uh, down this service tunnel of the Death Star, and he's going to be able to pick up a Planetary Fortress, and it looks like a lot of other units as he goes yeah. around here. This is a pretty efficient trade, but yeah, as you said, everything time loses is not going to be re uh, repaired quite, a or not, not going to be replaced as quickly as Special is able to, and look at this, the Battlecruiser, is the lone Battlecruiser still yeah. remaining in the, in the game? Just doing amazing. How many kills does that thing have? 18 kills. Ooh. Beautiful from Special. Yeah, the, this last battle cruiser has just found damage that once again Time could not afford to take. His work account half of that of his opponent, or very close to. There we go, GG, special evens are up, and we've got a map three crater. It's about damn time, Grant. We haven't had a map three yet today. We've had two two O's so far. We got the.